everyone! Today I thought I would make a video on how I uh, varnish my paintings. So I'm going to start by cleaning them because I want to remove all the well the dust or cat hairs that uh, may have uh, accumulated on it and or maybe even the fat of my fingers, uh, the skin and everything. So I really want the varnish to stick really well and I do not want any smudge of my fingers or cat hairs that could be in there. So I just clean them with a microfiber and alcohol. And that way I remove any dust or cat hairs that could be on there. And it's that simple. I do not need to really clean it thoroughly. I just want to remove the dust. And that's about it for now. I'm just going to let it dry and after that I varnish. So once the alcohol dried, it's not too long, alcohol evaporates really quickly. I use a large sponge. Um, I well I use a large sponge and I need it to be damp. Um, really not that much. If you wrinkle it, no water will come out of it. It's just barely barely wet. And then what I do is just a little square. You don't need a lot. And That's it. Easy as that. the noises. I use the push pins on there so the canvas do not stick to the table. And yeah. It kind of moves. But it's okay. And that's about it. It's really not that far hard uh, and really the damp sponge really helps um, to do it quickly so it doesn't have time to dry um, and it also avoids the stroke marks a brush would leave. Um, I really like this method I could use spray varnish and everything, but um, it's kind of complicated with me to go outside to do it because uh, I, I don't want to use a spray uh, varnish with my cats around. I don't know how bad it could be for them. I don't want to risk that. So that's the way I do it. I use a 
Liquitex high gloss varnish. It really gives a nice shine to the canvas. Um, I really like it. And I have done a couple already that are varnished and they look just amazing, super shiny. I love it. So yeah, that's, that's it. And I usually give uh, three coats of varnish, uh, three thin coats. That's why I do really don't put that much on the sponge and uh, it's really that easy. And you have to let it dry uh, completely, like three hours between coats. So I will see you later. Okay, so I'm back. It's been uh, three hours. I've let the first coat dry. And I'm going to put the second coat on. So my sponge is still damp but not wet um, I like to do that because it helps the sponge to slide on the on the canvas with the varnish and that way you can be quick and it's easy so I did the first coat going the other way now I go this way, trying to interlace the varnish, so it's a solid coat. Got to the sides on that one. Oops, my push pin fell. Two of them fell. Whoa. And the last one. should be more thorough with my push pins because another one fell. <laughs> what it looks like uh, fully varnished with three coats because uh, it's going to be a bit repetitive if I just wait and do a third coat for you. Basically I will do my third coat the other way to interlock the, the varnish coats. Um, that's about it. I really like the high gloss varnish. It gives a really nice shiny look uh, and it helps the colors to pop um, and that's about it it's uh, quite easy to varnish the canvas that way and it avoids uh, a lot of stroke marks and i like it the helper is going to give me canvas show this one is fully varnished and you can see there is not much stroke marks on it and it looks very pretty and shiny. I love it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I could help some people who has trouble with varnish and do not use spray varnish. Spray varnish is really the easy way, uh, but yeah, with my leg and <laughs> Uh, the cats, I can't really uh, use spray varnish, so that's the way I do it. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more. And if you like this video, leave a like. I would appreciate it.
Um, bye!